In this video, we're going to evaluate the limit of a function with complex fractions or rational functions that contain radicals. We have a rational that contains radicals, and we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches 3. If you plug 3 in, you get 3 minus 3 in the denominator, which is uh, indeterminate. So we're going to need to take this and edit this. And using some algebra, we're going to edit it by multiplying by root x plus 1 plus 2. This is the conjugate for the numerator. We're going to do the same thing to the denominator. That would be x plus 1 plus 2. So we end up with the limit as x approaches 3. When I multiply the top, uh, the top binomial with this other binomial here, I get root x plus 1 times root x plus 1, which would just be x plus 1. Root x plus 1 times 2 would be plus 2 root x plus 1. Negative 2 times root x plus 1. That's negative 2 root x plus 1. And then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. All divided by, on the bottom we'd have x minus 3. And then root x plus 1 plus 2. That's going to equal the limit as x approaches 3. D's cancel, so I end up with just x minus 3 on top over x minus 3. And we have this root x plus 1 plus 2 part here. I canceled the two, the numerator and denominator, the x minus 3 part, and that'd be limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over root x plus 1 plus 2. Now we're going to evaluate the limit. So when we evaluate the limit, we're going to plug 3 in. That'd be 1 over root of 3 plus 1 plus 2. That's a 1. Which is 1 over root 4 plus 2, which gives you 1 over 4. So the limit as x approaches 3 of this function will be 1 fourth.